Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're playing Battlefield 6 and keep getting those annoying DirectX function errors, whether it's the git device removed reason, DXGI end divider hung, DXGI error device resource, or the classic DirectX function failed message, don't worry, you're not alone. Thousands of players are facing these crashes right now, especially after updates or when the game is pushed to higher settings. But the good news is, we're going to fix it all step by step today. So let's not waste time. Let's jump straight to the desktop and get everything optimized for a stable and smooth gaming experience. All right, guys, we're now on the desktop. I'll guide you through each fix one by one. Make sure to follow along carefully so we can eliminate these DirectX errors completely. First, open Windows Settings. Go to Updates and check for Updates. Next, update your GPU drivers. For NVIDIA, use GeForce Experience. For AMD, use Adrenaline. And for Intel, use Driver Support Assistant. Old drivers often cause launch crashes, so this step is very important. Now, download my pack called PC Tweaks and Optimization for Windows from the link in the description. Inside the pack, you'll find three things. CMD commands, registry optimization files, and undo files to reverse changes if you want. First, run the CMD commands in administrator command prompt one by one. They clean junk files, reset network, boost responsiveness, and enable the best performance power plans. Then, apply the registry files, ultimate performance, disable game DVR, and game responsiveness. Just right-click and merge each file, then restart your PC. If you ever want to go back, use the undo files included. Install everything and restart your PC. And that's it guys, your DirectX function errors in Battlefield 6 should be fully fixed if you followed each step correctly. No more random crashes, no more stuck screens, just smooth gameplay. If this guide helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more FPS boost and fix guides, and share this video with your squad. Also, if you're still facing any specific DirectX error, just comment below and I'll personally help you out. Till then, enjoy your game and I'll see you in the next one.